Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday, last Facebook Live of the year. I'm Amy Frilici and I'm so happy to be here with you guys. You know what I realized too? This is just happening to be right about now because I think it was December of, I can't remember what year this would be, but hi Kathy, how are you? Six years ago in December, I did my very first Facebook Live. It was maybe middle of December, so we're a little bit past my six-year anniversary date, but it's really hard to believe that most Fridays, well, I can't, I like stumbled over that word because it's pretty much every other Friday these days. Um, I'm doing Facebook Live. So hi, Teresa. Thanks for joining us. Hope everybody had an awesome holiday Christmas season continuing right this week as well with your family and friends or maybe just all on your own relaxing and enjoying the quiet. Who knows, right? Hello, Bonnie. Good morning and thank you for sharing the video. So you guys, we are playing with some new stuff today. Today. I thought, okay, um, we can do this. We're at the very end of December. Our new mini catalog and celebration are going to be starting next week. So we are going to be playing with, this is the Heartfelt Hexagon stamp set and then the Heartfelt Hexagon punch. So this is an awesome bundle. Jamie, hello. You're probably enjoying hopefully some rest and relaxation, right? A little bit away from school anyway. Um, okay, so yes, Heartfelt Hexagon stamp set. So awesome sentiments in here. And then you guys can also see, right, these little um, kind of outline images, that one's kind of faint, right? But of course, they coordinate with that hexagon punch there too. So I love that. So we've got, this is my favorite, sending you lots of love and hugs, that one right there. And then of course, it also fits in that hexagon punch. Um, this one, you could kind of go tall. It says, I hope your day is filled with joy. And then there's a Mr. and Mrs. And then, oh, fun, let's eat cake, right? And Oh, and then a with sincere, with sincere sympathy. So a couple of different options there. Oh, and then the little for you, and then just some other cute little imagery in there as well. So we are gonna have tons of fun playing with this stamp set and punch this brand new bundle from our new mini catalog when we flip the camera down in just a little bit. All right, let me set those aside. <clears throat> so what else do we have going on? So many good things. Danielle, hello, welcome. Uh, oh, you know what I want to show you guys are all the Christmas cards that I received. Thank you guys so much. So many goodies in the mail. I love this, right? So we're going to just kind of, I've got a whole stack here that I want to show you guys. Um, okay, this first one is from... <clears throat> Denise Ledbetter, and I recognize this paper, this holiday paper from a couple of years ago. I loved that. It was very kind of um, nostalgic looking paper, I guess I would say. So, and then the beautiful ornaments on there. And um, she had just a nice greeting on the inside. May um, it be, wait, what do we have? Um, so let's see, may it be yours this holiday season. And then some cute little um, uh, snowflakes on the inside too, right? Hello, Miss Linda. I think I have your card in here also. Next one is from Anna Sitzma, and this is such a cute card too. She's got her little Merry Christmas on there. Love that fun imagery as well. She popped that up on some dimensionals too. And what was so cute on the inside, she says, wishing you lots of love, joy, and happiness this Christmas season and always. I really enjoy your Facebook Live videos. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed Christmas season. Blessings to you in Christ, Anna Sitzma. And then this was the cutest part in parenthesis, in parenthesis par I can't even say that word in parentheses. She says she's a fellow Stampin' Up demo in Michigan. I'm like, Anna, I know who you are. You don't have to put that on there. So thank you. That was so, so cute that you did that on the inside, but you don't have to do that anymore. I know exactly who you are. And hi, Pam uh, from cold North, North Carolina. Well, I don't know. At least you probably don't have quite the drear that we have had around here in Michigan. I don't know the last time we've seen the sun. It's been kind of rainy and drizzly for like the whole week, I think. So hopefully it's not as bad where you are. Um, but I think, yes, this one is from Miss Linda. <laughs> that was perfect timing, Linda. She um, made this Christmas card right here. And I love the, this whole like Christmas and it's got the definition. It says, the time of year where the presence of family is better than the presence from family. So love that, right? And then on the inside, she says, dear Amy and family, <clears throat> Sending you wishes for a wonderful and joyous season. Thank, thank you for all the inspiration 
Um, do you recognize this? She says, wishing you a wonderful and prosperous new year. Love, Linda. So this was a similar, right? Or maybe I made, I can't remember, honestly. Um, I, I have a vague memory of making a card similar to this. So Anna, I just showed your card too. Here it is. Hello, Miss Anna. This was your little sweet little card. And I said, you don't have to tell me that you're a Stampin' Up! demo from Michigan. I thought that was so cute in there. So I totally know who you are. <laughs> that was just so funny. Okay, next we have a card from Carolyn Lawrence, and she always does beautiful work. So we've got a beautiful snowflake on there. Ooh, and then I'm just seeing the back of here. Hi, Sunday. How are you doing? I hope you're recuperating well from surgery that you're doing well and had a good holiday um so on the inside of carolyn's card she says snowflake wishes for a merry christmas amy have a wonderful christmas sending snowman hugs carolyn lauren so very cute thank you miss carolyn oh and then this was kind of a fun one so not christmas um but this was from shannon west who is our <laughs> What is she saying? <laughs> yes, I love your card, Anna. Thank you. Um, Shannon West is one of our Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Development Managers. I'm glad to hear you're doing well too, Sunday. Um, <clears throat> So she's kind of over our Midwest region. So she sent me this super cute little card here that says, well, it's going to be backwards or maybe even upside down there. <laughs> At least it's right side up. No, it's still backwards. It says, congratulations with that cute little sombrero hat on there with the little pinata. And she says, and so funny, she writes, so I love how she addresses the envelopes too. She makes your name huge and scrawling. Um, and I'm always like, I want to do that too. I don't know if I right as pretty as she does there. Um, but she says, hi, Amy. Well, look at you go, Mexico, exclamation point, exclamation point. You are a maniac or a machine, <laughs> mi amiga. Thank you for being so awesome. Hope you are well, heart Shannon. So that was very cute. That was a little congratulations card. I'm sure she sent to all of our demonstrators in Michigan that earned the um, Mexico incentive trip. Um, this one is from Maureen Lenti. This is a beautiful Christmas card. She's got Merry Christmas on the outside there. And then I love, I'm so inspired by people that, you know, they do a sentiment, they do some DSP, and then they even write in there, <laughs> um, which is my, um, I try to, right? But I think I sent out like 250 Christmas cards. So I kind of realized that was difficult to write much to everybody. So maybe a little something in, in a few, but she's got, let's see, sending you love and plenty of cheer. May your days be bright throughout all the year. Uh, so very, very sweet. Thank you, Maureen. And then, um, oh, this was another one. What is this one from Shannon? Oh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I'm like, did I put both of these in here? They must have arrived. I'm trying to think of when this one came more recently. I think the other one was a little bit ago. Anyway, so we've got, um, this is another card, again, from Shannon. So you can see she loves to do, right? She, like, writes her name super big and sprawling on both of those. And then this one was for the um, $400,000 in sales achievement. She says, hi, Amy. Congrats on yet another amazing accomplish accomplishment. I got to slow down, right, ladies? You reached your 400K milestone. Wow. Woot woot. Okay, I don't know how you do it year after year. She's so funny. I'm in awe and so grateful for you. Heart Shannon. <laughs> She's so funny. So, and then that cute. I don't know if I even showed you the card there, right? So another super cute. Love that. I don't recognize that stamp either. Um, I'm going to have to check that out. Okay, Miss Sally Guter sent me another beautiful Christmas card. She's got Merry Christmas with that beautiful point set of paper. And then I don't know if you can tell, but those are very sparkly Christmas trees on there. Oh, and this is so cool. I've not seen this done before where she's got, so the um, card stock and then the card base is actually a white card, but you wouldn't even know it, right? Because she kind of made the card base a little bit or the, yeah, kind of the outside cover of the card, a little bit bigger than the white card base, so you can't even tell. So I think that's so cool. And then on the inside, she did another little um, Christmas tree with some cute embellishments. Hope you and your children have a wonderful holiday. May you have many blessings in the new year. Peace from Sally. Uh, next, we have Miss Charlene Kennedy. This is a beautiful one also, right? I love kind of that white embossed with that beautiful snowflake and says, peace on earth, goodwill to all, Merry Christmas. And then she does a nice job, right, of decorating. I love this, putting a couple more layers of cardstock in there too. Um, and then she's got wishing you a Merry Christmas. Love, Charlene. Next, we have Miss Teresa, who is watching also. This is such a cute card, Teresa. I love all those little Christmas trees and all the fun stamping that you did too, right? There's a lot of 
stamping and good strategic stamping too. Like everything's lined up really well. That's very impressive. So that's her little Merry Christmas card. And then she does an, a beautiful job on the inside here also, right? We've got May your Christmas be merry and bright, wishing you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love, Teresa on the inside of that one. We got a couple more, ladies. This one is from Miss Sharon Greening. And this is beautiful, right? The sparkly kind of nativity scene there, just gorgeous. We've got Emmanuel, God with us. Amy and family, Merry Christmas, love Sharon. And that's cute too, how she just put that um, smaller piece of white cardstock in there and kind of wrote on that. Next we have uh, this one is from Elsie Lynch, and she actually, so when I opened it up, this is how, this is what came out. So she put a little piece of our vellum, which is another great way to do that, so that things, you know, because that's kind of got lots of intricate details on that die with that beautiful Noel. Oop, oh, this is her sticky, I think. She was so cute. She she followed my lead where she put her sticky inside here. So she stamped and put a sentiment in there, and then she's got a little sticky saying Merry Christmas as well. So isn't that beautiful? And then lastly, ooh, another Noel card. This one with lots of beautiful stamping on it, right? This one is from Carla Dilly. And then on the inside, she's got another beautiful sentiment there as well. And what is also fun is she sent me, <clears throat> well, she used a sticky, right? She says, Merry Christmas, Amy. Love Carla. And then she sent me a Bible word search. And what is so funny, as a little kid, I loved doing these word searches. And I have not done them in forever. So I have a whole book now of word searches to do whenever I get bored, which is not often, but sometimes, you know, you just want to take a little break from other things. So thank you, Carla. That was so fun to get that from you as well. So ladies, I feel super like showered and pampered by all of your Christmas cards, all your holiday cards, all your well wishes. So thank you so very much for all of these. Oh, actually I have one more. I had to set it aside because this one is from Monica Talbot and she sent a little goody in there too so i didn't have that stacked up with the others but this is beautiful she always does gorgeous work as well and then beautiful on the inside too right so we've got we wish you <laughs> yes right linda so many beautiful cards we wish you a merry christmas amy i wish for peace and happiness this christmas and through the new year she's got a little sparkly snowflake some more paper i love that i'm truly inspired by all of the decor on the inside of the cards and i got to remember that and then she also sent the these which look super yummy she kind of decorated the package and they are uh, peppermint mini cups so they're little if you can kind of see it so probably maybe like a little york peppermint patty is what i'm thinking with that dark chocolate yummy so super excited to try those too so thank you everyone for all of those cards all right i'm grabbing a quick sip of water and checking my notes and what we're gonna mm. okay so kind of one last shout out for the last chance lists if there's anything from that holiday mini catalog that you would like to order, make sure you do that. I think you have six days is what my notes say. Next Wednesday, January 3rd is the absolute last day. Anything that is still available, that is the last day you can order those retiring products. So again, if there's anything that you've been kind of on the fence about, maybe it's on sale, it's probably a great time to get it while you still can, okay? And then on Thursday, next Thursday, January 4th, celebration begins. So we have this super cute new little celebration brochure. Lots of great items in here that you can get for free with either a $50 order or a $100 order. This is US dollars. I think it's a little bit different in Canada and everywhere else. I don't even know because I'm not in those markets. Um, but then also, so celebration begins and then also our new spring mini catalog begins as well. So if you need either of those catalogs, please let me know. I have a stack of them here. We are doing a new catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event. That is happening on Saturday, January 13th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Peace Lutheran Church here in Alma. So if you're local and would like to attend, please let me know. I want to make sure I have enough. We're going to be making um, lots of cute cards with new celebration and spring mini catalog products. So I want to make sure I have enough cut for everybody. So if you're thinking about coming, let me know. I'd rather overcut and over prepare than not have enough for everybody. If you decide, you know, last minute, if there's any chance, let me know. I would love to have you attend. Come play with lots of new things. Um, if you happen to find something that you like, if you spend $50 that day, you get to pick a free celebration item. You can pick up your catalogs then too. Um, so again, and if you're not 
not able to make it and I did not I did mail catalogs out to <clears throat> customers if you did not get one please let me know and I can get them sent out to you okay because you should have those I'm sure you should have those by now um <clears throat> we're just rolling through okay yep yeah. Talked about that, talked about that. Okay, so also don't forget we are doing the holiday spring, no, the spring mini catalog, designer series paper share, 2024 spring mini catalog. We have what I think I figured out 13 different packs of paper that you can get a quarter of a pack of paper. This includes all five packs of the celebration designer series paper too. It's $43 for a paper share, a quarter of a pack of all 13 of those new designer series papers in our spring mini catalog and celebration brochure. My first order is going in next Thursday, January 4th. So I've been getting messages, emails, uh, Facebook messages, however you want to send them to me. I try to check everywhere. Um, I will tell you email is probably the best way to make sure that I see it. If you um, are able to comment on one of my posts too, I go back through all of my posts. So any way you want to let me know, I would love to get you one of these paper shares. So $43 for the paper share. If you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. Again, that first order is going to go in next week on Thursday, January 4th, okay? So I did show all of the designer series paper on my last Facebook Live, and then also I made a separate video. So if you pop over to my YouTube channel, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel, you will find a video that has all of the designer series paper on there if you wanna check it out and decide. But it's a great way to get a sample of all of our designer series paper and then decide if there are um, packs that you love then you can get a full pack from there but I love doing that just get a sample of everything to kind of get you started on things all right um also so celebration to make sure you know I think everybody knows there are a couple of different um kind of options in terms of benefits during celebration so spend fifty dollars pick a free celebration item there are some one hundred dollar items so you spend a hundred dollars you get to pick one of the kind of like the level two the bigger more mac daddy celebration items but you may not know and they haven't done this for a few years they were kind of adding in a stamp set if you put in a huge order or if you host a party or get orders from friends however you want to do that um, if you accumulate $300 in product on an order, then typically you get 12% um, host benefits, which is like $36. If you had like a literally like an even $300, $300, 12% is $36. They're actually throwing in an additional $30 in free host benefits. So for a $300 order, now you can get at least $66 in free stuff too. And that's anything you want out of the catalogs. Hi, Tracy. Thanks for joining us. So I just kind of realized that, that that's like one of our things now is putting in that Mac Daddy order um, and getting lots and lots of benefits. Or like I said, accumulating order, orders from friends and family, put it all together in one order and you can get $66 minimum in free product from Stampin' Up! as well. The last way is if you are interested in terms of benefits, I'm sorry, last benefit during celebration is to buy the Stampin' Up! starter kit. And I'm going to show you guys in just a little bit. So they're doing the regular deal, which is picking $125 in product. And you have then two options from there. You can either pick our new, <laughs> there are all these balloons popping up. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. I haven't seen that before. I'm like, all of a sudden this green thing was like flying through the air. I don't know if everybody else could see that too, but <laughs> that's awesome, whoever did that. So thank you. Um, I thought something weird was happening at first, but then I'm like, oh no, those are just balloons. Somebody's like flying balloons around here. So very, very cute. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I was saying celebration. Pick $125 in product, anything you want out of any of the catalogs. And you can get our brand new Stampin' Glass Matte Studio for free, paying only $99 for all that. So $125 in product. The Stampin' Glass Matte Studio, which I think is like a $60 or $70 value, and you only pay $99 plus sales tax. The shipping is already included, so you don't have to pay that. If you already have a Stampin' Glass Matte or that's something that you're not interested in but you're still wanting to get the starter kit, 
Option number two for the starter kit during celebration is pick $125 product and then actually add on another $30. So you actually get to pick $155 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. Again, the shipping is included. So two great options right there. I am going to, when we flip the camera down, I'm gonna show you guys the new Stampin' Glass Matte Studio. I've been working on it this week and it is so beautiful and so much fun. And you know what I think one of the best benefits is gonna be is is like my grid paper when I flip the camera down when I get excited it goes like flying everywhere well this is so like heavy duty sturdy and it's got these great um, kind of little silicone feet I think on the bottom I think they're silicone anyway little feet on the bottom so it, it holds it right in place so it doesn't slide anywhere so it's going to be a great surface to do my um to do my um, Facebook Live videos on too oh and Anna you missed the pre-order for the glass mat yes yeah, they. I know they said they wanted to make sure they had enough for everybody um, that would be buying the starter kit. So yeah, um, I guess, you know, people must have gone crazy with purchasing this. Um, I don't know. I was fortunate enough that I got the order in right away and was able to get one. So at least you'll be able to see it. And you probably have seen other people showing them as well. Um, so yes, hopefully they do bring it back. Um, or maybe you find a friend or relative or somebody who would like to buy the starter kit and get that glass mat and then maybe you could get it from them. I don't know, maybe that would be an option. Something to think about, right? Um, okay, so I think we talked about I think we talked about everything. So yeah, like I said, I'm kind of teasing you with the stamp and glass mat studio. When we flip the camera down, um, I'll show you it because it'll be backwards and it'll be better when we do it um, down on the table because that's where you'll use it too, right? Okay, so <clears throat> I think we are ready. Let's do our drawing for, we are drawing for, hi Trish, hello and welcome. Thanks for joining. Okay, so this is the burlap ribbon. This is what we're giving away. If you shared this Facebook Live video, your name has one entry in the drawing. If you shared this Facebook Live video to a paper crafting group that you're a part of, you got five entries into the video. And if you are new to my email list and just signed up, you got another entry into the drawing. So we're gonna shake these around and we'll draw one lucky winner again for the uh, burlap ribbon. Okay, let's see what do we have in here. Got one, yes, one in my hand, Miss Merritt Lane. All right, congratulations. I think she just signed up for my email list. So congratulations, Merritt. Um, send me your email, at, or sorry, your mailing address. If I don't have that, I'm gonna check and make sure I have that um, and I'll get that ribbon sent out to you. So congratulations, Miss Merritt. All right, we're gonna put those right in there. On our next Facebook Live, we're actually going to be giving away some cute new embellishments. These are called the Adhesive Backed Lightning and Stars, and they're super cute. So they've got white, I'm gonna say Crush Curry. Oh, you missed it too, Anna. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Tracy. Yes, that was a big bummer, right? And then I think this is gonna be Coastal Cabana. So you can see they've got the lightning bolts and then some little baby stars and some little bit larger stars in those three colors. So fun little embellishment. We'll be giving this away on our next Facebook Live, which is actually gonna be next Friday because I thought celebration is beginning and I gotta do another Facebook Live right as soon as celebration begins. So share this Facebook Live video right here to your own personal page one entry. Share it to a crafting group that you're a party of, part of. Five entries into the drawing and sign up for my email list and you get another entry in the drawing and you could win these super cute little uh, adhesive back to lightning and stars, right? I think that goes away. Don't need to talk on the phone right now because we're doing a Facebook Live. But on my last order, I thought this was so cool. Stampin' Up! sent this package of um, basic white cardstock as well. And it just says, thank you, basic white cardstock of free gifts. So they just popped that in my order and I thought that was so cool. So love that. Thank you, Stampin' Up! for some awesome basic white cardstock. So just a cute little package. And of course, with that logo, love that beautiful logo that they've been using. Um, I think that started on their 30th anniversary, which now we're at 35 years. So is, can it be that long? I feel like maybe it has, which is really hard to believe, right? The time goes so quickly. Okay, so I think 
we are ready to turn the camera down because I actually didn't have any online orders for the last little bit. So can't do the drawing this time, but I will tell you, oh, you got some too. <laughs> it's always fun, right? When you said I wasn't expecting a free gift. So that was very, very sweet of them to do that. Yes. Yay. That's awesome. I'm glad you got that too, Miss Anna. Um, okay. So yes. Yeah, so no, I, I can't do the drawing because I didn't have any online orders um, for the last little bit, but I decided because I think it's such a cute stamp set. So we're going to keep this one. This this year to celebrate stamp set is going to be our um, giveaway. So if you are interested in ordering through me, I'm going to give you, I have a new host code. I'm starting in the January host code already too. Okay, Bonnie missed it also. Yes, I know lots of people. So they're, I'm sure they're going to find a way for others to get that too. I'm sure. I would just have to believe. I sure hope so anyway. They definitely want people to buy the starter kit, which if you already are a demonstrator, you've already done that. But hopefully they provide another option um, for people that already have the starter kit and didn't get a chance to get that stamp and glass mat studio. We'll have to watch for that. I'm sure it won't be until after celebration. They'll figure out if they have many, if any, left, and then they'll go from there. So we'll have to kind of wait and see. Um, but like I said, if there's if you have any family or friends that would like to buy the starter kit through you, you could always bribe them. Well, no, that's not, I shouldn't say that, right? You can't bribe them, but maybe you could buy it from them or something, you know, if they get it and they don't, I don't know. Well, you'll have to work on that yourself, but it's an idea, right? Um, okay, so yeah, so put an online order in through me and we're gonna get your name in the drawing to win that super cute year to celebrate stamp set. So they have the fun happy new year, but then they've also got like a little congratulations and happy birthday to you. And then the fun little um, paper, whatever those, the blowout things. I don't know, whatever those are called. Anyway, so I think they're cute. So we're gonna give that away, hopefully on our next Facebook Live, which is again, one week from today right here. On, so I think it's gonna be January 5th is the next Friday, okay? All right, I think I'm doing a quick double check here. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we talked about everything. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm gonna move all my little papers out of the way. Okay, here we go. We are going to turn your heads away, right? We're gonna fly through the air. Where's my host code? I'm gonna give you guys that real quick. I'll get that right on here because then I'm gonna show you guys that Stampin' Glass Mat Studio. So excited about this. Okay. Turn your heads away for just a moment. I'm gonna flip that camera down. Okay. Do that. Oops, it did not go. There we are. Okay, so here's our host code. This is what you'll wanna use if you're gonna order online through me. Don't need any of that, don't need any of that. Oh, I should show you also our free embellishment. Um, starting now, we'll say, right, is these are called, what are these called? The Purple Fine Shimmer Gems. I want to show you guys those too. So super cute. A couple different shades of purple in here. Love these. This is our free embellishment. Or you can pick the January PDF tutorial. Oh, all right, Trish, you're welcome for the Christmas card. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Okay, and I missed some other. What do we got? Oh, Tracy's back to work. Oh, okay. Yes, go blue. You're, I forgot to even mention that. I got my t-shirt on. Yes. All right. Go blue. Yes, Tracy. I'm so excited about that game on Sunday. Um. Oh, okay. Anna, I can't wait to see what you come up with that, jung with that Jungle Pals stamp set and dies. <laughs> she loves sloths. That's funny, your sister-in-law, so you can't wait to make her a cute card with that. All right, that's going to be fun. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Um, with those cute little animals in that stamp set. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go, ladies. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> okay, here is, all right, I am going to move this out of the way. Okay, here is our new, ooh, okay, so this is going to be, because I thought, you know what I want to start doing is using this. I'm going to move this away for a moment. Um, I'm going to start using this for my Facebook Lives, but I do. Okay, it provides quite a reflection, I see, with the lights in my ceiling fan. Can you guys kind of get, so there's the top of it. So it's got these little, I kept these on here. I don't think they were just for shipping, so kind of protecting the edges, because it's, there is, I mean, it's, it's like a, it's serious glass. It doesn't sound like it when I'm ting, ting, tinging that, but um, the other cool thing is it's it's like grid paper, right? So we've got the measurements. I guess that's the only thing is occasionally I might need to see down in that corner, right? So that little foot, I kind of, and it does, they just slide right on and off. Can you guys see that? Do I have it up enough? That's almost, I don't know if I can get that. 
You guys can kind of get the idea, right? So that is interesting. Like if I want to show you measurements, I haven't actually done this yet, kind of trying to see. Okay, that's about center, right? Some beautiful flowers here too. So they kept this blank over here um, so it could kind of buy, be like a little work surface. Um, if you like even like mixing colors of ink, they were doing that right on this glass mat. I think I might have shared that video too because I was curious to kind of learn and give you guys some details um, on this Stampin' Glass Mat Studio. But again, you can see, so we've got in inches, I think that's Imperial, right? Um, and they said whatever market you're in. So obviously if we're in the U.S., we're looking for inches, right? Um, okay, you guys can see that. All right, the comments kind of cover up, but I think you can see the corners here too. So that's where I want my Stampin' Glass Mat, I would say trying to get it like centered. The cool thing is, like I said, it's not going to move. Like it's, I mean, you feel like, well, you, you can't feel it. Can you, <laughs> can you tell like I'm, it's, it's hefty, right? Like to pick it up. Um, and so I've been having tons of fun. I put this right over on my work side of my table. This is kind of my Facebook live side. And then on the other side of the table is my work side. And I've loved working with this. So the other cool thing, and I wanted to show you, so this is the silicone mat. And so it sticks. So this is, I put, this is the cleaning cloth, which I realized like I had it sitting out. Um, so if you put ink on here or something, or just stamp and get ink on here, you can use this cleaning cloth and just wipe it right off. Super duper cool. They showed how basically you just run it under um, tap water to rinse it. Um, but when I, let's see, <clears throat> I had it kind of sitting out and it did kind of dry up. Uh, it's funny because they say there aren't any chemicals, but there's something on it because I had a piece of paper on it and the piece of paper got a little bit damp feeling. So it's like our um chamois right it's a it's bigger can you guys see like here's the size of our chamois and here's the size and it's more of a cloth like it's it's still um it's thick ish but not nearly as thick I don't know let's look maybe it's like and the edges are pretty dry on here too and it's funny because the edges are getting drier on there so I'm going to say it's about two to three times the purple chamois is about two to three times as thick as this little cloth. So like my corners got a little bit dry, but this part is still wet. So you can wet it, but I think I'm going to keep mine right in this little, this was like the little um, accessory package. There was another piece that, another plastic piece that this came in, but I had to cut it to open it. So this one can kind of still seal up. So I think I'm going to keep that right in here when I'm not using it. So kind of like I'm keeping my chamois. So it'll stay kind of damp feeling is my point here. Um, Cause I didn't like how it, I didn't want it to get too dried out. But the other super cool thing is this little buddy right here too. So this is the little, a little something on there. Oh, oh yeah. Well, there's a good demonstration. It, they said it will stain over time. So if you use this, this was another kind of work surface. Like they said, you could mix colors in these little cubbies or use our little stampin' spots. They fit perfectly inside there. This little spot is great because it's kind of got um, some texture to it also. So you can put your ink pad in here and then, you know, ink your stamp up and it won't move around. So that's what I've been using this for. Um, so, but what I will tell you is they said it's this beautiful white. It will stain over time if you put ink in it. So just kind of know that. So I'm going to kind of have mine. I was using it kind of up in the corner here so I can still put my ink and then I still have room to work right here and I can show you guys things. So yeah. All right. Let's get started playing with, with this new stamp and glass mat, right? Um, did I, I know I had notes here. Did I miss, did I tell you guys everything? I don't know where my notes went. <laughs> oh, Amy, Suzanne, let's see. Oh, there they are. I stacked them up in some other things. Okay, yep, I think we're good. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys. <clears throat> ah, this first card is so cute, right? Okay, let's see, what do we got? Yes, okay, so featuring, again, the heartfelt hexagon stamp set and the punch. So here's the punch, right? Fits perfectly around those images right there. 
And then here is the stamp set, not backwards or inside out or whatever anymore. So our Mr. and Mrs., I hope your day is filled with joy, sending you lots of love and hugs with sincere sympathy. Let's eat cake for you. And then look, just look cute flower, or not heart, and some kind of flowers and leaves there too. So love that stamp set and love, I love punches though. And I love when we have a stamp set that coordinates with our punch. The other thing I want to show you is, and did I, I thought I pulled it out, but maybe not, is that <clears throat> Be Mine Designer Series paper. So let's see, here it is. I'm trying to remember if I've used it all. And you guys may have seen, because this was the paper that everyone received for our onstage um, products, um, projects, I guess I'll say too. But I think it's so cute. I've had so much fun playing with it. So we're gonna just scoot that one back in there. But look at this paper, right? So super duper cute, the little hearts I love. So it's, um, what are the colors? I don't know if it's real. I think I used Poppy Parade. Maybe you can, you can kind of go either way, I'd say. So we've got Basic Black, Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist, Petal Pink, pool party. Oh, and it's sweet sorbet, actually. Yeah. Okay. Forget that. It wasn't real red or poppy parade, but it's sweet sorbet. So then there's the backside of that one. We got these cute little bumblebees here and then the hearts on the backside there. So you can use it. There's all the little bumblebees with the flowers, right? Love, 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 love that. And then some little flowers there also. Again, sweet sorbet. Little flowers there and some cool stripes on that one. More bumblebees and they're so happy and smiley and then like kind of a honeycomb. So can you guys see how like happy those little bumblebees are? And there's one more pattern that we're going to use. Um, and it's, well, it's this right here. So it's the cute little bumblebees with the hearts and the smiles. And then that, I don't know, is it kind of plaid gingham? The, um, what's that called? Daffodil Delight. <laughs> yeah. So super cute paper too. Love this paper. So all of this is product that you can order out of our new mini catalog starting on Thursday. Okay. So here we go. So I, can you guys, are you going to be able to see? So I can put this right in here and it's not going to move. It's going to be very, very cool to ink things up with. The one thing I was thinking about is my die cutting machine and how I'm going to be doing that on here too. So I kind of may have to work through that a little bit, but I'll get that figured out. Okay. So Oh, you know what else I forgot? I have this little list of things that I learned about your stamp and glass mat here. I just want to make sure there aren't any more comments coming in. Okay, so the one thing they said is it's heat resistant. So if you want to do uh, like heat embossing, you can do that right on the stamp and glass mat, which is very, very cool. It's also stain resistant. So if you get ink on it, it just wipes right off with that cleaning cloth. Like I said, actually we might, I'm going to open that up. I'll have that out. So we can use it if I get any ink on anything we'll have that open and ready to go so yeah it's got the silicone feet on the back um oh yes and it has a great the suction on these little feet is awesome so that it won't move at all so lots of great features of the stamp and glass mat studio okay so we are going to start this is a piece of and this is what's interesting I'm gonna have to kind of work with this a little bit but here's our eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock along the eight and a half inch side we cut it at four and a quarter inches and then along the 11 inch side we scored it at five and a half inches so we're making a tall card like that right okay so there's our card base then we have on the inside our basic white four by five and a quarter piece that's the one i do all the time so that's this one right here for the inside then we also have a piece of this is daffodil delight so yeah you know what okay we're gonna just move that one right there. So we've got four by five and a quarter inches. So I feel like, yeah, maybe I don't, I won't need that one when I'm doing Facebook Live. I'll have to remember to take that off. So again, Daffodil Delight, four by five and a quarter inches. Here is our other piece of designer series paper. So cute, right? This one measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So that's gonna just peek out around the edges of that guy. Then we have another piece of sweet sorbet cardstock that measures three by four inches. Okay, and then our little designer series paper again, front and back of this one. 
that measures 2 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And that's going to layer right on there. Then lastly, we have a piece of sweet sorbet cardstock that measures 4 by 1 and a quarter. And then the designer series paper. Actually, this is, sorry, this one is going to be, yeah, that's right. It is. Yep, this one measures, yeah, four by, it's actually four by one and one eighth. And then this one measures three and seven eighths by one inch. And that's going to go right on the top right there. Okay. All right. And then I've got another piece of basic white cardstock. We're going to do our stamping and punching. So simple card just featuring lots of cute designer series paper, basically. Okay. So we are going to do, all right. So we're going to open up our sweet sorbet ink. I'm actually going to put that one in here first. Oops, excuse me. So yeah, you can tell it's glass, right? When I drop that on there. Do you see how this is not moving at all though? Love that. I'm going to make sure I'm getting this inked up really well. And it's a great surface to stamp on too, right? It's very nice and solid. So if you have kind of a wonky table or if you stamp like on a plastic table or something, this is going to be a huge help for um, that purpose also. Okay, so we've got that one. Next, we're going to do on the inside, we're going to use our Daffodil Delight ink, which you guys know how great... Um, the best thing about Stampin' Up, right, is the coordination of all of our colors. So our cardstock and our ink and our designer series paper, how those all work so well together. Okay, I need another sip of water, ladies. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna just clean these off right now. That was one thing I was thinking of is now that I don't have, well, two things actually, now that I don't have grid paper, because I always like to kind of clean on my chamois and then kind of stamp on something. So I'm just using my old Stamparatus grid paper. I've got lots of those little squares left. So I'm cleaning with my, my chamois. Again, you guys can see or hear kind of how substantial this is, I hope, right, when I'm doing that. Okay, so I think we are good. We're gonna move this away. All right, uh, let's see, we need some adhesive. We're going to put things together here. This one looks like it's kind of rolling off. I almost feel like um, it's funny because I scrolled back to like look at comments and I think I got them all, but now it's almost like I'm not sure if I'm still getting the comments. Either that or you guys just aren't commenting right now. So maybe someone just comment real quick and <laughs> let me know um, so that I know that the comments are actually working. Okay, so we're running it and tipping it back on our designer series paper. I love this pattern. This paper is just, it is so stinking cute. I know when we first opened it for um, on stage, everyone was like, this paper is so fun. And I totally agree. So we're going to add this one right here. And don't forget, I always like to mention on my blog, Gathering inspiration. Oh, good. Okay, yes. Perfect. Trish, I see. You got your little comment there. I love these colors. Yes, me too, me too. Okay, so comments are working. Perfect. That's why I just wanted to make sure. Um, but yeah, all the details for this card, if you want to order and make um, these cards, you can do that by getting all the details on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. That'll be uploaded this afternoon after Facebook Live. Okay, so we're going to keep kind of adding our adhesive onto the back of all of these. So lots of pretty designer series paper. We have so much cute designer series paper and I've kind of decided, right? I'm like determined. So you know what it is. I was struggling with this. It's four inches wide on both of them. This is one and one eighth and then the designer series paper is one inch. So yeah, it goes right across there like that. Actually, I'm going to scoot it up a tiny bit. I think it was basically wherever I could see the cute little bumblebees. That's where I wanted those to be. Now we are going to grab our punch here and we're going to just punch that right out. Yes, it is. It's fun too, right? You're right, Teresa. So it's great for Valentine's if you need it for Valentine's, um, but it doesn't have to be too because you've got some other, like this one is definitely, right? It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day and the backside of many of them are not necessarily like absolutely, you know, only Valentine-y. So I like that also that you've got some options. 
Okay, we are going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of these guys. We are gonna pop this one so you can see how cute, quick, simple, and easy this card is. The last touch is to grab, this is our Sweet Sorbet Baker's Twine, part of our 2022-2024 in color product. Not to jump the gun, but maybe something to think about if um, you haven't gotten everything that you wanted. Thank you, Sunday. Um, in our in colors, those will be retiring. It's actually coming up sooner than usual, right? Because our annual catalog will retire. That's not for a little bit, but um, in April. So if you didn't get the Baker's Twine or if you need more cardstock, ink refills, any of that stuff, it's a great time stamp or um, celebration is to stock up on basics and things that you know you're going to want to order and get free stuff too. So keep that in mind also. Okay, there we go. There is card number one, sending lots of love and hugs. So cute, right? And then the, don't you just love, like I love those teeny tiny, I'm going to use those little flowers all the time. I just think they're so cute. It's funny because this is silly really, um, but I like when I print flyers and things and I put them in people's orders, I might have like leftovers. So I cut them in half and I use them for scrap paper. And I love like stamping little things just on them too, because it's so much more fun using scrap paper that's got cute little stamps on it also. So anyway, I'm like, that's the perfect stamp right there to use for that purpose. So I'll probably be doing that. <laughs> yes, on basic white cardstock, that's very true that you can always use that. You are right, Anna. Stocking up on any of the basics really is just a great idea. Um, during celebration. Okay, let's see. We are going to make our next card here. I'm trying to make sure I got everything out of the way. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Oops, I guess I'll scoot these over here, right? <clears throat> I think I'm going to use both of these colors. Thank you, ladies. I'm glad you're enjoying these cards. I think they're so cute, too. So here is another one, and this features fun designer series paper. So check this out, right? Use those little um, flowers on the inside there also. This card was inspired by, and I'm sure that this was a swap. So this one actually goes kind of side to side, but I wanted mine to go tall because I wanted to use that stamp and sentiment, but same idea, right? And I wish I don't have, I don't know who made this swap card. So if you made it and you're watching, claim it, and then we'll know that you gave us the inspiration for this card right here. But I love this. I, any way that you can show both sides, inside and outside, this is our celebration paper, I think from last year. Um, love to be able to do that. So again, here is our card with that cute paper on the inside too. So I'm gonna give you the dimensions for that one, All right? Get the other things out here that we're going to need to. Okay, we're going to use this little punch. Oh, yeah, for the heart. I'm like, what are we using that for? For the little hearts. Okay, <clears throat> get all my ink going here. Okay, and I actually have a little cheat sheet here so I know <laughs> my dimensions. Because I actually was super prepared. You guys, I made these cards like last week. I'm never that prepared, but I knew this week... Um, after Christmas was going to be even crazier than the week before. But okay, so pretend we've got a full sheet of sweet sorbet cardstock. I already cut it in half at five and a half inches, and then I'm going to cut it in half again at four and a quarter inches. So you could actually get four card bases. So this is a quarter of a sheet of cardstock. Four and a quarter by five and a half, you could get four card bases out of one sheet of sweet sorbet cardstock. Okay, so that's your card base right there. Then the actual kind of flippy part of the card is the designer series paper. Okay. So that designer series paper measures four inches by, uh, it is 11 and a quarter. That was kind of throwing me off. Yes. So four by 11 and a quarter. And I think you guys can see down here, right? So four by 11 a quarter. And we are going to, oh my gosh, for real. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I'm now I'm reading this and I'm like, that doesn't make, I don't think I put the um, score marks. Well, maybe I did. Let's see. 
I thought I was super organized. Now I'm trying to read. So it's two and five eighths you're going to score at. I don't think I wrote that on there. And then also at seven and seven eighths. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure. Yep. One, two, three, four. Yep. Two and five eighths and seven and seven eighths is where you're going to score this at. Okay. So that's gonna go like that. Then we've got this little piece of designer series paper, which is actually the bottom of this right here. It might not look like it, but it is of one of these. Maybe it's that one right there. <laughs> I know it is, there it is, yep, right there. So this little piece that you cut off that measures, this one is again four inches by three quarters of an inch, yeah. So you've got your 11 and a quarter and then the little three quarter inch piece off of the end here, you're gonna flip over. Okay, so this and this actually go this way. And then this little piece is gonna go right on there. Actually goes that way, like that. Just like that one, okay? All right, then do we need sizes? Okay, then one more size that you need for the inside. This inside white piece measures, we've got this one measuring out at three and three quarters by five inches, and that's going to go right on the inside there, okay? So let's just scoot these things over here for now. Have another sip of water. Okay, so let's do our stamping. We've got the little flowers on the inside there again, and then we're going to do our stamping on this piece right here too. Okay, I need my little flower stamp. Okay, so we've got this one. Let's do the yellow. Daffodil Delight, right? We're gonna just put another couple of these. And I wanna show you guys, if I happened to like stamp on there, so there's a teeny tiny bit of yellow, you probably can't even see it, but let's just show you how cool this is. This just wipes right off. And I bet I could even use for like a little one. I probably wanna, wanna get um, tons of ink, but you can kind of see it's like, it's absorbing the yellow. So it's kind of, it's again, it's like your chamois. Um, oh, look, so there's kind of an example, too. It fits about an A, A, oh, you can't even see that, can you? Okay, here, I'll pick this up. The cool thing is, did you hear that, too? It's very grippy. So there, there's our clear A block that fits right inside one of those little squares there. But that is so great because it doesn't move. It's got, it's like silicone right there, too. So perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, <clears throat> all right, then on here, we are going to stamp in our pool party again another coordinating color with our designer series paper okay isn't that so pretty i love 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 that little outline there on that one okay and then we are going to use our sweet sorbet ink and stamp our sentiment that says i hope your day is filled with joy so again, this could be a Valentine's Day card, but it doesn't have to be if you don't want it to be, right? Okay, all right, that one. All right, we are going to clean these off real quick with our chamois, which is right here. And again, I'm gonna bring my grid paper back in because I always like to, I don't know, there's just something anal in me, I guess. We're gonna just do that. And then we're gonna use this one. And we're going to do that. Okay, there. All right, good. We got those all done. That one we already cleaned on our other little cleaning cloth. Okay. All right, why don't we go ahead and punch this. Where is my punch? I put it right over here, right? Okay. All right, so we've got, I hope your day is filled with joy. I'm going to punch that little baby out right there. Okay. Oops, sorry, I kind of bumped things, right? I hope your day is filled with joy, right? And it's funny because I kind of thought, oh, I stamped that up a little bit high, but we're going to actually put those little hearts down at the bottom, so that's actually going to work out pretty well for me. So did not do that intentionally, I will say. Okay, so we are going to, we'll punch those in a sec though, right? 
The other thing, okay, so I need to die cut. This is an extra piece of sweet sorbet cardstock. So we just have a little bit of die cutting here. We are going to use the carrying over. These are the merriest trees dies. I believe these are on big sale too. So get these. The bundle is retiring, um, but the stamp set and dies are still going to be available, but was sold separately. But I'm pretty sure that these dies um, are on sale too. So I'd get them while you can right on sale because they probably they won't be on sale for forever so i am going to actually let's try this because i'm curious if i scoot that off of there i haven't put this on here in a little bit I, I think it should be all right right i mean yeah i think we can just put this right on on here and okay so we're going to just do our die cutting with that tag right love just that cute simple tag from the merriest trees dies we're gonna just run this okay yeah I don't I was a little hesitant to put my um, die cutting machine on that stamp and glass mat but I don't know why I mean it should be fine right okay so there's our little die or tag or tag die I'll say right okay all right I think oh we got to move this back in I just kind of that makes me feel good to just have that right there in case I need it for anything, right? Okay, we're gonna move our card back into view also. And then let's go ahead and put things together, okay? And I'm gonna triple check the um, measurements on the scoring of this. Actually, maybe I can see better. It was I was kind of hesitating, like, um, did I just throw something? I did. I just swiped something off the table right onto the floor. Um, I was, it was harder to see on the other side, but I feel like maybe I'm gonna be able to see here, right? So we've got that definitely at 11 and a quarter. So two and one, two, three, four, uh, yep. One, two, so four, yep, two and five eighths. And it is seven and seven eighths. Okay, good, so we were correct. All right, I just wanted to make sure. All right, so we are gonna flip it this way. You got to make sure, I guess it doesn't matter if you do it upside down, right? Because <laughs> you can just turn it, turn it the other way, right? Okay, because I what happened was um, I didn't do it right on this one at first, so that's why I was really hesitating to give you the measurements. You can kind of see, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not, but there's a little score mark right on the bottom here too where I did it not quite right. So that's why I was like, I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the right measurements here. Okay, so then this little piece actually just goes right over top. We're gonna to put it that way right there. Okay, so the other cool thing about this Stampin' Glass mat, now that I'm thinking about it, is if you get adhesive on here, so it's kind of smearing, if you can see that, but it's gonna be you're, it's gonna be easy to get it off too. So I'll grab my little um, adhesive remover and that'll come right off, which is also very cool. Right, oops, I kind of flicked that. All right, so we're gonna just add this designer series paper right onto that piece right there, okay? Then we're going to add our basic white cardstock. So always run it and tip it back. Pop this right on here. So that folds up, that folds up. See, we're getting there, right? Next, we are going to put adhesive just on the top of this piece and we're gonna lay that right about there we'll say we're gonna add some dimensionals behind our sentiment pop these things right on here a couple little dimensionals okay then a couple of last oops that's upside down we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen gonna add a couple of so this is the coordinating punch for the other B Mine stamp set. So we're gonna just use that little heart. We're gonna punch out a couple of hearts. Uh, okay, so yep, we're gonna get some extras and that's okay. So we've got that little heart. We don't need that piece. And then we've got that. So I've got Petal Pink, oops, and um, Sweet Sorbet is my card stock there because those are the colors in my designer series paper. So that's what I want to use on my cardstock also, or for my cardstock also, okay? All right, so we're gonna just put a couple of these little hearts. Put one, 
one right there, and then we're gonna do one right there. Add a couple of embellishments, and we are all set. So we've got new ribbon. This is a sweet sorbet bordered ribbon. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so we're gonna make a little bow right here with our sweet sorbet ribbon. Very easy to work with too. I love when the ribbon, you know, when it's just easy to work with. Love that. Okay, we're gonna add a little mini glue dot here. Put that one, so we're gonna just pop that. I did get the glue dot. All of a sudden I was like, did I get the glue dot? Okay, and then lastly, we have our new little embellishments that coordinate with that whole suite, with that Be Mine suite. I can't show you the catalog yet. Next week I'll be able to show you that, but these are called the Adhesive Backed Hearts and Flowers. So we are gonna add one of these little yellow, one of the Daffodil Delight flowers. I'm sorry, heart. Little baby Daffodil Delight heart. We're gonna just pop that kind of right about there, we're gonna say. And there we go. So what do you guys think? Aren't these so, I love these cards. So we've got those two. Actually, that one we'll put there, right? That'll hold that down, right? And then we've got, so you can see those and you can see those, right? And then the quick reminder, here's our host code. Uh, you can go ahead and start using it right now. If you're interested in ordering, you are going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me for your online order of at least $50. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win this super cute, the year to celebrate stamp set. And then you also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or our free embellishment, which are the new purple fine shimmer gems. All right. So thank you, ladies, for watching. I hope you guys have a happy new year coming up. And we will be back here again live next Friday, just one week from today, uh, to show you some more fun product. Don't forget, celebration begins next Thursday, January 4th. So let me know if you have any questions, if you need to help with anything. If you want to put any orders in, I'm happy to help you with that too. Thank you, Sunday. Happy New Year to you also. I'm glad you enjoyed the projects. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining me. And go blue!